What up, Jason? Saw your comment and wanted to actually go through and show you guys that because in Xcode 4.2, um, adding additional tab bars is different, a little bit different because it involves the storyboard. So thank you for that, uh, and hopefully this helps you with your next, you know, million dollar app idea. So let's jump into adding additional tab bars within your tab bar application. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new project and uh, simply click your tab bar application template and we're gonna click next uh, name this tab bar you know four or five whatever one we're on now so save it wherever you guys would like but once you've got your project loaded we're gonna go into basically the only place we're gonna be in in this time and that's our iPad dot storyboard so if you go to your iPad storyboard and we're gonna zoom out because man these things just get so large at some point and uh, so you can see we basically have two main view controllers and I'm gonna run the application so you guys can see that and how it is associated within the storyboards so now as you see we've got a first view controller and then we've also got our second view um, which is attached to the second view controller as it shows on the screen and so now Jason was saying how do we get one maybe two or three different view controllers associated there you know as we add more things to our applications so that's what I'm going to show you today now if you hop back over to the uh, the storyboard here you can see as we zoom in as you zoom in sorry it's just going crazy here you got your first and your second second within the tab bar controller and so now we're gonna add two more views to that and then hook up those views so they show up to the tab bar controller. So we're gonna zoom out and I am gonna go over to the objects on the right. Now make sure you got your utilities selected over here so it's uh, the panel comes out. We're gonna take one view controller, drop it right below the others as the third view controller and uh, one more we'll say for the fourth. So now as you can see the other two view controllers have a nice line that attaches them and that's going to be the association with the first view controller or second and that's going to be the segue to connect them the two additional ones that we added don't have that yet and so that's what we're going to hook up now there's two different ways to do it um, you can simply zoom in and once you get down to the tab bar view controller or the tab bar controller you'll see the tab bar controller which you can hold control click and uh, as it goes down, now let me see if it'll go down all the way. I don't think it will. But uh, if this was our third view controller, we needed to hook this one up. We could click it and uh, select one of the segues. In this case, the other two view controllers are hooked up as relationship view controllers, which that would is that's uh, that's what we'd want to do for this case. But uh, this one's already hooked up, so don't mind that. The other way. If you uh, if it's you know too much of a hassle to drag all the way down, you can go over to the left here, and within this bar here, you'll see the tab bar controller, and you click on the tab bar controller, and that's the same thing as this this little object here, and we can hold control again, click, and then hook it up to whatever view controller we want to. So you can see we've got the first view controller that's already hooked up. The second here's going to be the third that we added. It's going to pop up with the options that we have, so we'll select the relationship. And as you can see, we've got a new tab on the bottom of the tab bar view controller. We're going to do the same thing with the fourth view controller by clicking, holding, or clicking, and uh, selecting the relationship as well. And again, we've got the fourth option here. Now, it's not cool when it just says item. You know, nobody knows what that is. So we're going to go and change that before, you know, just an added bonus for you guys as you guys are making your applications to make them clean. So if you scroll down, we've got our second, which is named second, which is perfect. And then you go down to the uh, third, which we have item. We're just going to name this third. And then one other thing we're going to do is the bar item. We're going to select an image, and we're just going to use we're just going to use this first PNG, the circle, as the image for now. Then we're going to scroll down to the uh, the fourth one that we created. Click the item as as well, and change this out to a fourth. And then image, we'll go with the second. Um, we'll go with the second.png, which is going to be the square. 
So now we should have four tab bar objects on there. So you four view controllers, so you can check it out. And as you scroll through, you can see third and fourth. Obviously, they're left blank, but they do switch between. Um, so you guys can see. So, Jason, hopefully that helps you. You know, and 4.2 is a little bit different, but, uh, you know, once you get used to it, it's a breeze. All right, we'll catch you guys later.